Hi, YouTube followers. This is Suzanne of Zoosnetic Concoctions presenting you with a video on how to make your own crochet hook. I did, or I made a double ended crochet hook out of wooden dowels. And the dowels I bought at Dollarama. Here's the pack, the original package. You get six for a buck twenty-five Canadian. And these were perfect for making double-ended crochet hooks. They're 12 inches long, so um, I get the right length. And I'm very much into Tunisian crochet, and I wanted a double hook so that I can work with two or more colors at the same time. Now, I'm not going to show you exactly uh, all the practical steps that I uh, went through. I'm going to just talk you through it so so this video is is short here's here's a dowel that I started on and I gave up on it because I screwed up the other end um, which is the end that I started out with but anyway just to give you an idea what I did was um, I took a sharp knife and I um, kind of sawed in an indentation that was the exact width of the dowel and then I took a uh, chisel and um, hammered in um, uh, the indentation point so to make it slightly deeper or more deep and then I took a knife and I actually scraped off the wood and kind of shaved it off um, it takes a lot of patience but um, it's it's worth the effort. Um, I would note that um, this one doesn't show. Actually, this one shows about not quite halfway um, through the dowel. But you have to go more than um, halfway in depth, as you could see by the crochet hook here. And you just keep shaving it and shaving it. And um, once you get down to the depth that you want. Then I took my handy dandy Rockwell Sonicrafter here and took one of the saw blades. This is a saw blade that I used, right, to actually saw through that indentation. You know, let me take the hook. Saw through it so to go deeper and, um, and it worked. It uh, worked out really, really great. And after that, what I did was by hand I shaved off the end of the the dowel um, because you get a flat flat head here and I didn't shave all of it but pretty much a lot and then what I did was I used the sanding attachment of the Rockwell to um, smooth it out even more and get down to so that um, you end up with a, a nice tip for your crochet hook and then I used the rough sanding paper and and then the finer sanding paper of the Rockwell and to smooth everything out. And then what I'm going to do is, I haven't done it yet, I am going to take some clear varathane and maybe put a couple of coats, or maybe three, three coats to finish it off and make it really, really smooth so that the um, yarn uh, will glide over the dowel. Um, without effort and um, that's about it um, it was fairly fun job I have to say though that um, you may have you may go through a couple of dowels before you you get it right um, which happened to me I've got two whole dowels left and a couple that uh, that are uh, scrap although this this one here I could probably finish it off but here's one where I screwed up one end but uh, you know what I went ahead and made a crochet hook on the opposite end so I got a spare and that and then a, and a nice double crochet hook here to work with and that and that's it anyway I hope you try it out any questions please uh, leave in the comment section I'll be uh, glad to to answer any queries you have on this and uh, happy crocheting if you decide to uh, to try it out 
Anyway, that's it. Bye for now.